Hi everyone, Mike from Comp3 Interactive here and today we're going to be taking a look at creating something that every RPG game needs and that is a stamina bar. There's a few things that we're going to want to get from this. One, we're going to want a stamina bar to decrease by the correct amount every time we use any stamina. We want to make sure that we can't attack or perform any events if we don't have enough stamina. We want to have a cooldown period before the stamina bar starts to recharge and if we attack again while the stamina bar is recharging then we want the cooldown timer to reset. So let's get into it. So for the stamina bar we're going to use the default Unity UI slider. So if we go ahead and throw in a slider, we can just quickly rename this to Stamina Bar. Now we don't actually need a handle for this, so we'll get rid of that and then we'll take our fill width and fill areas left and right to zero. So our bar starts right on the left hand side. We'll also just go ahead and size this up to 250 by 50 and we'll just put this in the center. We want to go ahead and uncheck interactable because we don't want to be able to physically drag this. And finally we'll just go ahead and give it a nice stamina green color for the background. And if we go ahead and change the fill to a lighter green. There we go, that's about right. Now, obviously for your game you can make your stamina bars as nice as you want, but for the purposes of this tutorial, this is going to be enough. So now that we have our amazing design done, we can go ahead and create our stamina bar script. And we'll open that up in Visual Studio. So we won't be needing our update method. And we'll add in a reference to our slider. Now for that we're going to need to be using unityengine.ui and we'll add in public slider stamina bar. We're also going to want a private integer value for a max stamina, another private integer for Current stamina, can't even spell, same as always. Current stamina, and we'll just set our max stamina to 100 by default. And just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to make this stamina bar class a singleton so I can easily call it from a test player script. Uh, you can go ahead and interact with this stamina bar any way that you like. So I'll just quickly add in a public static. Stamina bar, call it instance, and then in the awake method, I'm just going to set instance equal to this because we're not going to be transitioning between scenes in the tutorial. If you're interested in knowing more about singletons, I'll just put a link up at the top right about here to a in-depth tutorial that I do on singletons. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to make sure that all our values are correct at the point in which we start our game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set current stamina equal to max stamina. I'm also going to set the stamina bar. Uh, the stamina bar's max value equal to our max stamina. And also the stamina bar's current value, just known as value, also equal to max stamina. So now that we've got that, we can go ahead and add in a method, a public void use stamina. And use stamina is going to take an integer parameter, and that's going to be the amount of stamina that we want to use for this action. And inside here, very simple, we'll just do a quick if statement. If our current stamina minus the amount that we want to use is greater than or equal to zero, we have enough stamina to perform that action. So we will take current.
current stamina minus equals the amount and then stamina bar dot value will equal current stamina now if we don't have enough what I'll do I'll just do a debug dot log not enough stamina so just to quickly test this what we'll do we'll create a new C sharp script and we'll just call this player and open it up in Visual Studio and for a test we will check if input dot get key down key call dot space then we will call the instance of the stamina bar and we'll use 15 stamina so every time we press the space key we'll call our stamina bar use stamina method and we should see this working so we'll just create player throw player onto that and then throw our stamina bar onto the stamina bar and remember to link it in the inspector so now if we play this we should see that our stamina bar jumps to full like we told it to and every time we press space we use some stamina and at the point where we can't use any more we get a not enough stamina message in our console window so we're about halfway there but now we want the stamina bar to start recharging when we aren't using stamina so to do this we'll pop back over into Visual Studio and we'll be using a core routine so to make use out of a core routine we first need to be using system.collections and if we scroll down to the bottom we can make a private ie numerator and we'll call this regen stamina and we want to make sure that we call this after we know that we've used some stamina so we'll call regen stamina after we've updated our stamina by value now the first thing we're going to want to do inside regen stamina is we're going to want to wait for two seconds before we actually start to regenerate to do this we'll do yield return new wait for seconds and we'll pass in two so that'll just wait two seconds before it continues now we want to do the regeneration so we'll do that inside of inside of a while loop so while our current stamina is less than our max stamina we want to increment current stamina by we'll do max stamina divided by 100 that way regardless of what our max stamina value is our stamina bar should fill at the same rate next we'll set stamina bar dot value equal to current stamina and then we will yield return new wait for seconds and we'll wait for 0.1 of a second now that'll work that's fine one thing i do like to do though especially in cases like this where we have a while statement and this block of code will be called a few times that means every time it's called we're going to create a new wait for seconds instance so what i like to do i like to come up to the top where i've declared my variables we'll create a private wait for seconds we'll call this regen tick and we'll just set this equal to a new wait for seconds 0.1 and then in our core routine we can just yield return regen tick so now if we save that head back over to our game if we play we should see that we can attack a couple of times 
wait two seconds and then our stamina bar starts to regenerate. But now if you notice, if we take our stamina down and we attack again while we're regenerating, we don't stop regenerating. What we'd like is if we were to attack while we're already regenerating our stamina is we want to wait those two seconds again before we resume recharging. So why do we do that? We'll jump back over into Visual Studio and we can actually set our stamina regen core routine to a variable. So if we create a private core routine and we'll just call this regen. When we start our core routine we can set regen equal to the core routine itself. So what that means is we'll be able to above that check if regen is not equal to null meaning we're already regenerating stamina we can stop core routine regen and then we'll reset it to the new instance of it which will wait two seconds before it starts up again and after the processing is completed we can just set regen equal to null at the end of our stamina regen so that should be it if we jump back we can play the game we'll use some stamina start to regen use some stamina and then we wait for two more seconds before we start again and we can't go past our minimum value but we still regen while we're trying perfect and it's as simple as that nice short tutorial for you and i hope it's going to come in handy if you've learned something today then drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel you can also find us over on social media for more bite-sized Unity and C-Sharp tips. I've been Mike for Comp3 Interactive, and I'll see you again soon.